up, fam? It's your boy Trucking on the Budget. I'm back with another video for you guys. Today's content is going to basically be about the uh, things you should have, three major things you should have when it comes to doing this whole trucking thing. Um, but before I do, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. For those that are new, uh, hit that notification bell so that you get my videos um, every time I put out a new one. Uh, but yeah, man, so I'm on my way to this place called uh, Harbor Freight. And at Harbor Freight, you can pretty much find anything that you need uh, to do this whole thing. Um, uh, I did. I found out recently that they even existed. Uh, so um, I'm on my way there now. So I'm going to basically, uh, once I get there, I point out to some of the things that you guys should uh, basically have with you at all times. Uh, and, and most of these uh, brokers are requiring it. The uh, shippers are requiring it. So... Um, just make sure you have them. Harbor Freak. This is where I go to get all of my uh, stuff that I need. You can find anything in here. Got jacks, you got gloves. You got all kinds of tools. You even got some of the E tracks here that you can get. Of course, they got the, uh, the load straps. Different, all different types of load straps, chains. These load straps are only six foot, and there's a set of four. But um, usually, like the load straps that I've gotten, which I don't even see in here, but they actually um, they can, you can hold about 4,400 pounds of weight with them. But um, I got like 10 of them. You can't never have enough, but. It's always best to have a lot of them. Another cool thing to have, make sure that you have, are these uh, load pads. Basically, covers or whatever, you put them over top of your loads. Uh, certain brokers and shippers are going to want you to have those, so you got to make sure you have plenty of these. Um, I think I got about eight or so, but it never hurts to have a lot of those either. They got shovels. I mean, you're probably gonna need those. I don't know how, where you guys gonna be picking up from or whatever the case may be. But you got these little pitchforks or whatever you wanna call them things. You got those here. They even have pallet jacks. Now, a lot of these pallet jacks, man, they can range. Like this one here. Well, that's not too bad. This one is like $329 and I think it's on sale for $299. So I have one that I got. It was like, um, I got it from a guy who was actually selling it. He sold it to me for like 200. So, but I've seen them go as high as like 6,000, 7,000 or whatever, which I'm not buying that. <laughs> they even have these wooden dollies that you can use to roll certain things around on. Also got these little uh, platform trucks um, also. I don't know that you would need these here, but they also sell those in case somebody might need it. But depending on what you might have, if you have a flatbed, they also have these uh, ratchet uh, tie downs with the hooks. You know, you can see they got the hooks in them or whatever, but you can use those to tie down those uh, flatbed loads. Um, and I think these, yeah, these uh, can hold like 3,300 pounds of strap, so. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff in this store, you know, that you're going to need. But like I said, the three major things that you're going to need are tie down, low tie downs. You're going to need um, load um, blankets or pads, if, if you will, and pallet jacks. You're going to need all three of those things. You're not going to need them for every load, but, you know, it'd be great to have whenever they, they call and say, hey, do you guys have, do you have this or this and that and the other? 
So it'll be awesome to have those things because it'll get you a lot more loads. So yeah, like I was saying, so those three things you're definitely gonna need the pallet jacks, the uh load covers, and the load straps. Now, um, it never hurts to have too many of the load straps and the and the uh blankets. Um I'm learning more and more that a lot of the shippers are requiring you to have uh, you know, load straps, you know, and it's and it's best because um sometimes you get those loads like some of the loads are pretty light you know so but you still need to strip you know know how to strap those down as well and be able to strap those down um <clears throat> but then you have the loads that are pretty pretty heavy the heaviest load i had so far i want to say is about 6800 pounds or whatever now the crazy thing about that is that this was like a piece of machinery so when they loaded that thing into my truck there was really no way for me to get up in the truck and, you know, strap anything because it was just no room. I couldn't even get in there to, to even get to my load straps. But um, I'm going to do another video where I'm going to show you how it's probably best to, you know, where to place your load straps, you know, um, and also where to place your, your blankets and how to secure your pallet jack inside your your uh, your truck. But um, yeah, so but like I said, uh I'm learning more and more that these uh, shippers and the brokers are asking, you know, hey, do you have um, low straps? Do you have 10 low straps? Do you have eight low straps? Do you have the blankets, you know, to put over loads? Um, and of course, they ask if you have pallet jacks. Now, I've been using the pallet jack ever since I started, you know, moving freight. Um, uh, so, like I said, some of it's pretty light. Others are pretty heavy. So, um, you got to be able to learn and know how to work your pallet jacks know how to strap down your loads and all those different things like i said in another video i will teach you guys how to do that or at least try to give you ideas on how to do it and how to secure it in a manner that you feel comfortable when you're driving that thing along because i tell you when you're driving and you have to go around curves and you're on them highways and, and you got them winding and bending roads and stuff like that you want to make sure that that load is secure because if it's not secure any slight movement, you know, that weight shifts, man, that can cause your truck to tip over and you just don't want to ever be in that situation. Prayerfully, we won't ever have to be in that situation. But um, yeah, so man, yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of content on, you know, what you might need for your truck. Um, So yeah, uh, comment down below, you know, if there's anything that you need or want me to put out any information that you might want me to put out to you guys um so someone did ask me though they asked me where did i get my loads from um a couple of good load boards to go to is dat load board that's the number one that i use and then also use truck uh truck stop is another one um and you have some other ones that that, that are out there but what i've learned is that a lot of the the uh load boards actually they put out the same load so like i said if you're doing dat i'm pretty sure you're going to see that same load on truck stop or something else you know but um yeah just try to whichever one works best for you um i would say just go with that one or whatever um but i also use a dispatcher who basically she did like i said she does most of the work and she gets me all my loads and most times you know i get loads that um where my um my my rate is like you know two dollars or so a mile which is pretty good you know so that's something you want to consider you don't ever want to go anything less than 1.5 a mile um because that's just not worth it so but yeah man so that's going to conclude my video um like comment and subscribe to my videos and like i said pass it on to your boo boos your bum buns you know whoever you know whether you like them or not pass it on man i want you to basically share this video for anybody that wants to be a trucker, anybody that wants to uh, have their own authority or so, you know, just, yeah, you know, just share this video. So, um, and share all of my videos and prayerfully, you know, we'll be able to get uh, our numbers up, you know, uh, get a, like a million followers, you know, um, 2.8 billion views, you, you know, just, it really, you know, just to, I know that's a pretty high number, but, you know, I'm just saying, you know, we're going to basically just put out some good content because we all need this. You know, I've been needing it from from the moment I started. So I'm always happy to help somebody else. So like I said, man, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep trucking together, man. 
you know, all my ladies and gents, keep trucking and stay safe out there. All right.